We're going to go visit our friend on her wedding day. I'm Economicon, and it seems she's been married in bed. My friend Zhen Zhong from university is getting married. We were studying to become doctors. I haven't seen her in a long time. Is her wedding really the best time to catch up then? Wow, look at you all dressed up. You? Me? How did you... Ah, uh, welcome. Thank you for coming. A man in a pink suit approached the two. A groom, I presume. Book soon, right? Congratulations, you two. And myung -hoon. Again, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to be here. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have known Dan Zhang would be getting married. What? You invited her? Oh, it sounds like maybe our, our old friend doesn't want us to be here. Oh, um, yes? But when? Back when you were getting tired writing invites, and I took over yours. I remembered how you mentioned your old university friend before, so I thought it'd be a nice surprise. Oh, God, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Was I not supposed to? Yeah, Dan Zhang. Was he not supposed to? Oh, now it sounds like we're just trying to cause drama. Do you want me to leave? No, it's fine. You did nothing wrong, Penny. Thank you. It's nice to see your face again. Really. Now, please excuse me. I... I need to go greet other guests. What the hell happened between us and university? Dan Zhong quickly turns on her heels and flees the scene. Oh, wait, honey! I do sincerely apologize. We appreciate that you came. Please, do still make yourself comfortable. Well, I'm not entirely sure Dan Zhong appreciates that I came. Okay, what's our to-do list? Um, but we've already said hi to our friend, so look in the kitchen and meet the groom. Now we might as well meet the groom first since you're right here. Yes, hello. Is there anything that you need? Well then, how did you meet her? How did you and Dan Zhang meet? Well, it's a bit embarrassing. But I actually first met her when I broke my wrist. That's so? I thought it was inappropriate for a doctor to have relations with her patient. Oh, no, it's nothing like that. She wasn't my doctor or anything. It's actually the opposite. She's the one that hit me with her car. Wait, you fell in love with your bride because she broke your bones with her car? That's normal. Mm-hmm. See, I'd been trying out one of those electric scooters to ride to work, but I'd never actually ridden one before. Well, actually... I'd never ridden any scooter before, but the idea is, I was doing a good job riding it, but didn't know how to use the brakes, or to make it stop. Jesus Christ, you got on an electric car, or electric vehicle, or anything that moves independently, without knowing how to use the brakes? How are you still alive, but you don't seem to make smart decisions? Uh-huh. She hit the brakes. Well, I still ran into her car and fell. Wait, so she didn't hit you with her car then? And she definitely didn't break your wrist? You broke your wrist by running into her car? That situation is completely different. She bandaged my hand and drove me to the hospital to get it checked out. To make up for it, I offered to get coffee for her and we ended up hitting it off. I guess you could say getting hit by that car was the luckiest thing that could have happened to me. Again, Bird, you didn't get hit by the car. The car got hit by you. Wow. We are so unimpressed right now. That's, uh, touching. Oh, buddy. I, I don't know whether you're naive or just, like, innocent or... I just, I worry about you, Bird. No, I am still most intrigued by the question mark, so we are leaving that one to last. So about the venue. How did you find this venue? A bit unusual, isn't it? It's interesting that it's western-styled. Not to mention it's located quite far from the city. 
I didn't know a ceremony hall like this exists in Korea. Oh, uh, well, it actually isn't a wedding venue to begin with. This is a private pension that my family has been managing for a long time. Sometimes we use it when I want to take a time off, or when holding events like this with a lot of guests. A private pension? Is that why I haven't seen any counters or security cameras? I mean, why, why were we noticing that straight away? Is there really a need for any? I mean, it's private property. We all know each other. And we're gathered together for a happy cause like today. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like you have a hard time trusting people. Well, either that or you just trust people way too easily. Ah, uh, sorry. No, you're right. There's a reason why I'm like this. It's something Dan Jung would know a lot about. Ah. Uh. It seems like she's helped you a lot in that aspect. Really? That's what you're getting from the situation? I mean, by the sounds of it, I I think Dai Zhong's done something that made us not trust her, right? Or feel betrayed by her? Ah, uh, Dai Zhong's really the sweetest, huh? <laughs> okay, now we must know, what are these question marks? It's too early for this. It's nothing, sorry. You don't have to be sorry at all. Oh, I wonder if that's going to be something to do with how we knew Dan Zhong. Oh, it's locked. It's mean, I know we met in university. Can I speak to anyone else? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, I was supposed to be found in the kitchen, right? Hi, guys. Are we going to see the kitchen? No apparent reason. A group of men converse with one another. They are all dressed as groomsmen suits. You don't recognize any of them. They seem confused. But open to your presence. Well, to be fair, they're the groomsmen. It makes sense we don't know them, right? I mean, they'd be on the on um the groom side, and we clearly didn't know him before today. A delectable-looking cake. We should definitely not take a bite. We, we are trying to be a good friend, okay? So why do I need the kitchen? Am I, am I hungry or something? I mean, I'm looking in the kitchen. The chatter from the room next door can be too easily heard. Seems like the walls are pretty thin. Oh, am I going to use this to eavesdrop? I mean, is there anything I can actually use? Hmm, nothing in our inventory. We well, don't seem to be able to pick anything up. You gained a keep cutting knife. Oh, I'm not entirely sure picking up a knife is a good thing. I mean, I'm not saying that um, we're here to cause trouble. But clearly our friend doesn't want us here. Let's go find our friend, actually. Let's see if we can get more information on what the hell happened between us. Okay, you're not waiting at the altar yet, cute baby. Where did you go, Daejong? I have so many things to say to you, I think. Um, oh, we got food. Can I, wait, can I have a brownie? A few sweet treats left out for guests. I'm just going to assume I ate something. I'm rather hungry. Now, where did the bride get to? Oh, there you are. Oh, you even got a cute dog. A comfortable bench. Oh, I was more looking at the rose petals, but I suppose the bench is nice as well. A little cream colored dog. She's tied on the leash. Oh, we should definitely pet her. The dog seems to enjoy your touch. She pants in excitement as she circles around before sitting down on her bum again. Aren't you a happy pooch? Go on then, speak to me. So, you were hiding out here. Okay, so, have you missed me? Didn't you miss me? It was like you'd seen a ghost. I didn't think you'd be out this early. Wait, out? Hold on, have I been in prison? What? Okay, I definitely need more information now. I missed you. You what? I mean, how can't you get a little emotional over seeing an old friend? I'm a bit hurt. Is it not reciprocated? Look, I get that you're upset. I didn't invite you, alright? I get the feeling it's not invitations that have got us upset. Hmm, I guess that's close enough. I ended up making it here anyways, so 
no harm done. Right? Right. Okay, so about your groom. So, that's who you're marrying? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. He's nice. Uh, I was just surprised. That's not your usual type. Seemed way too innocent compared to how you are. Oh, maybe that's why she really doesn't want us here. I mean, if we know essentially the, well, how she used to behave or act, and that's not how she's presenting herself now, I'm guessing she wouldn't want her groom to find out. Does he not know about whatever past we have? I mean, that would explain why she's, um, uncomfortable with us being in the same place together. So, how does it feel? How does it feel to wear a dress like that? Very pretty. Suits you. It really does. Ah, thank you. So, maybe you should powder your face a bit more. You look pale. Hmm. Is that so? You know, I do enjoy your outfit too. Then maybe you missed a memo on the dress code. Dress code? I mean, all black. Come on, Boxu. It's not like you're going to a funeral. Huh. Thought I dressed right for the occasion. Anything else to say? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, so to do list. I'm still just going to meet the groom. I, I've already spoken to the groom a lot. Do you know what? Let's go meet him again. Oh, I wonder if our final question mark is going to be available now. Pucks to go. Wait. Is this like you look warm me away? You tell me to leave the venue and not speak to your husband? Listen, just please. It's a wedding. My wedding. Just let me have this and we'll talk immediately after. Okay? Why are you so convinced I'm here to do something? I shouldn't have anything to be mad about after all. Those were your words, not mine. Oh, we are definitely holding some kind of grudge. So relax and enjoy your wedding. Fine. Well, I'm gonna go find your groom. So can I speak to you now? Oh, it is. Privacy. I'd like to speak with you in private. Um, there's a lot of guests around. It's kind of hard to... Is there anywhere on the property that's more secluded? Oh, yeah. There is the powder room Dajon was using to get ready. Only her and I have the keys for it, so we'd have plenty of privacy. That sounds perfect. Are we going to stab the groom? I mean, we did pick up the uh, cake knife. Shall we? Okay. Speak to me. <laughs> I'd like to apologize once more. I didn't think Dan Zhong would react this way. <laughs> oh, Dan Zhong. She looked a little too surprised. <laughs> Not just surprised. Distressed, even. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is all my fault. I definitely should have let her know. <laughs> Do you think this was a bad idea? Oh, it's terrible for her. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, <laughs> may I ask why you haven't seen her? <laughs> when was it you said since <laughs> university? <laughs> oh, lots to remember there. <laughs> I'm sure you can already tell. But I don't have friends. Da Zhong was my one and only exception. She was the first to show me that life isn't all about grades or degrees. Showed me that even when chasing an ambition, I shouldn't be missing out on my youth. She was so good to me. Da Zhong took me everywhere she went. Even the night, when she had to assist a nearby hospital short on staff. You know what happened there? Oh, well, it doesn't seem like we get a choice. Let him know. God damn, we really did stab him! Pan. Uh. Pan. Uh. Uh. Don't try and scream. You'll just scar your vocal cords even worse. Pan. 
Why? I mean, if we're worried about scouting his vocal cords, did we not stab to kill? We were studying to become doctors. I like to think we were good friends, that she liked me, even if it didn't look like that for others. So, when she made a mistake, a messy, irresponsible and completely avoidable mistake, something paying attention during a standard procedure with little to no risk of death could prevent. What do I do? I... I think I messed up. How? I was the person she went to. Uh, I definitely think you messed up. Wait. She lied and said it was us, right? Yep. Oh, okay. I can understand why um, we wanted revenge on you now. I definitely feel like we end up in prison. I mean, it feels a little bit mean that we stabbed her husband, though. We could have stabbed her. I was the person who took the blame. You! Because of you, my son is... I didn't do it. Aren't you studying? So you can save lives. How could you do the opposite? I didn't do it. You're being let go from the program. It's not my fault. This time it is, though. It's hers. To my dear Dajon, who shows not a single hint of atonement, I wonder if you'll feel the same guilt about marrying him as you did about betraying me. Okay, what's our to-do list then? Um, okay, hide the body. Very good. Dispose the evidence. Always a good idea. Gain insight. Introduce motive. Make her atone. Oh, we're gonna make her take the blame for murdering her, uh, fiance. I mean, the groom. There's something in his pocket. You found a bedroom key. A luxurious bed. Can I just drag his body into the bed? A good hiding place. Okay, we'll just hide the body in here. The moment you attempt to move. Myung? Hoon's bo- Oh, should I have locked the door? I should have locked the door. You hear someone opening the bedroom door. Sorry, is anyone here right now? I left my coat in the closet and it's getting windy outside. Oh! Oh, God! Oops. I should have definitely locked the door first. You were arrested at the scene. Okay, lessons have been learnt. We are first going to grab that key and lock the door. Okay, so I would take the bedroom key, thank you very much. Lock this. You click the lock shut. You put the key back in the groom's pocket. There shouldn't be anyone else wandering in here. Now, the question of how I'll get out. It's fine, we'll figure it out after we clear it up. Um, so we're going to hide him in the uh, wardrobe, right? That's a good hiding place. A good hiding place. You attempt to shove his body inside, but the doors don't hold. Seems I might need something to secure it. I mean, there's a chair here. Is that going to work? A luxurious chair. Apparently not. A beautiful vanity. You found a pearl necklace. I mean, I was trying to look at that picture, but I don't think I can. Oh, can we just jump out the window? Is that our plan? A window leading into the garden. There doesn't seem to be anyone outside right now. Uh, not yet. We're not done in here. We still need to clean up. I mean, assuming if I jump out now, I will probably get arrested, right? You found cleaning supplies. Can I clean myself up as well? Doesn't seem like it. Well, not yet, at least. Maybe I just shove him into the bed instead. Doesn't seem like I'm allowed to. I, I certainly think the chair should be the way to go. It just doesn't say I can use it. Oh, that worked. Oh, the pearl necklace to hold its shirt. Okay, click on the stains to remove them. Oh, it's good job I've got all the cleaning supplies. Okay, and this one here. We'll... Wait, get the big stroke there and the giant long one. Oh, and all the drops. Don't forget about the drops. We can't leave any behind. There we go. I am an excellent cleaner. 
I mean, what about the blood stains on me? I should probably clean them as well, right? Okay, so we've hit the body. We need to study dispose of the evidence, gain insight, introduce motive, and make her tone. Well, I say right now, we just, um, leave through the window. Seems like the only solution, right? Oh, we move clothes. You gain bloody clothes. Uh, I don't quite know what to do with these things. I should probably take them with me, right? I don't think there's any bins in here. Okay, we're gonna take the clothes with us. And let's go. We should just jump out the window. Okay, perfect. Oh, she's gone. That's good for us. A serene fountain. Can I hide anything in the tree? Hi, Pop. Are you still friendly with me? Um. Oh. Do I want to use the knife and the dog? Wait, crap. That was phrased wrong. Cut the leash? Oh, okay, yeah, definitely that one. You cut the dog free from the bench. She excitedly runs off towards the catering area. There we go. That's a distraction, right? Oh, yeah, everyone should be distracted by the pup. Ah, someone catch her! She's going for the cake! Okay, perfect. So, um, do I just want to get out of her? Oh, damn! That, that's a bit of a mess. Oh, no! The grooms are jumping in to grab the dog. Okay, time for us to sneak away. How's everyone doing? We all having a good time? Can I burn the clothes? A little fireplace. Oh, hell yeah we can. The clothes shrivel and burn away to ash in the fire. You know, it seems extremely either reckless or confident to burn the clothes in the middle of the crime scene. The muffled voices of the groomsmen next door can be heard from the west wall. There's some light laughter among the group. More one person tries to get a point across. <laughs> Did you see his face when we bumped into that girl the other night? Mina, right? Yeah, Mina. Oh, please. Nothing happened between those two. I'm not saying anything did. I heard they met during the New Year's party. Wow, well, really? From who? Seo June said so. Him? He's starting up drama every time I see him. He exaggerates everything. Do you think they hooked up? He got real angsty when she showed up the other night. Nah, he hasn't been like that since uni. He probably just got embarrassed. It's awkward seeing an acquaintance while out drinking. Especially during a bachelor party. Let's just count ourselves lucky so June wasn't around. You just know, he would have been the first one to start the rumor mill. The group laughs in agreement and continue their discussion. Oh, instead, I should be the one to start the rumor mill. Okay, perfect. So we've hit the body, disposed of the evidence, gained insight. And now we just need to go and uh, introduce the motive to people. Let's go tell people he was sleeping with others. Um, who, who wants to hear the gossip? Myung Hoon's immediate family. You've never spoken to them before, but their overly optimistic features makes their relation obvious. I need to talk carefully, if I want to avoid suspicion. Myung Hoon's family, yes? Congratulations! Ah, thank you. I would be his mother. And who might you be? Oh, I'm a friend of the bride. We haven't chatted before, but... I just wish to express how happy I am to see my dear friend, Da Zhong. Be wed to such a fine gentleman like Myung Hoon. Did you know? Da Zhong was actually very... When we were dating Myung Hoon. She's a uh, partner. To the point where she would do anything for... Ah, sorry. I didn't quite get that. Could you repeat that for me? Zhejiang was actually very... Um... Attached? Attached when she was dating Myung Hoon. She's... Passionate. A passionate partner. To the point where she would do anything for... Love? I think I've done this wrong. I painted her as a very nice person. 
and I'm glad someone like Myung Hoon is to be receiving such strong affections from her. I can tell she's counting a lot on Myung Hoon. My, Myung Hoon be so excited to hear that Dan Jung feels that way. The truth is, Myung Hoon feels the exact same. He's been doing nothing but sighing and mumbling about what he did so right to be able to marry her any chance he gets. It's been such a pain, really. <laughs> anyway, Zhejiang's such an angel. Thank you for letting us know. It was so sweet of you. Oh, I definitely did this wrong. Oh, no. I'll be sure to tell her later. We're more than happy to welcome her as part of our family. Of course. Can't wait for the ceremony. Yeah, that didn't go right. Oops. I think I was supposed to paint her as a bit of a psycho, weren't I? Yeah, I definitely didn't introduce the motive. Is there anyone else I can speak to? Uh, does anyone, you, any of you want the rumor mill? I want to introduce a motive to you. The caterers are casually speaking to one another in hushed voices. They seem to be complaining about how thin the walls were between the kitchen and the fireplace room. Apparently, they were having trouble getting any work done with the groomsmen loudly talking next door. Uh, I already knew that. I, I have the information from that. Maybe I need to speak to the groomsmen. Can I speak to you guys? Oh, there's more ash than before. That's on my clothes. I group men converse with one another. They are all dressed in groomsmen suits. You don't recognize any of them. They seem confused but open to your presence. No, I don't actually seem to be able to speak to them. Okay, can I speak to the family again? No, I don't... Ah, oh, no, I can't introduce it anymore. I've got a bit of an issue. Oh, hello. Can I speak to you guys? A group of women converse with one another. They all are dressed in bridesmaid dresses. You vaguely recognize some of their faces from university, but fail to remember anything else about them. I need to talk carefully if I want to avoid suspicion. You're Dan Zhang's friends, right? Nice to meet you. I'm one of Dan Zhang's old friends back in uni, but I had to drop out. I believe that was back when Dan Zhang haven't met you three. I just wanted to drop by and say hello, since it would be a shame to miss out on how Dan Zhang's been doing these days. Hi, nice to meet you. Zhang barely talks about her past, so it's really refreshing to meet one of her old friends like this. <laughs> I've been thinking about Zhang ever since I dropped out. I didn't know she'd make such a wonderful friend while I've been gone. Speaking of being good friends, I actually have some news to share, but it's a bit unfortunate and I can't seem to figure out how I should tell Dajong without making things awkward. Oh, what news? I overheard this from the groomsmen just now, but I heard Kuo Myung Hoon with during... <laughs> Sorry, I missed some details. Could you say that one more time? Okay, so we caught... Um, wait. Oh, Seon Joon? A man named Seon Joon caught Myung Hoon. Oh, cheating. Cheating with Minha. A woman named Minha during the Bachelor's party. What on earth are you talking about? What you said doesn't add up at all. Wait, that's exactly what I heard. Are you going around spreading weird rumors? Oh, maybe he was fighting. Who are you, anyway? Did Da Zhang even invite you? Oops. After the body had been found, the bridesmaid reported your suspicious behavior. That didn't work out for us. And you have been named as the prime suspect. Oh, good luck proving it. Oh, then again, I do still have the weapon on me. Okay, let's try this again. I mean, I feel like I got most of them correct. I mean, we're definitely trying to imply you cheated, right? And it was definitely with Mina. Maybe I... 
Okay, so it's definitely Sion Jun. Um, he, he was definitely cheating with Mina. Oh, is it the party I got wrong? Maybe it was actually New Year's and not The Bachelors. New Year's? What? Oh my god, are you serious? I knew he was a bit of a hotshot during school, but I didn't know he would still act like that. Taehyung is getting married to him today without even knowing about this. Should we tell her or not? I told you guys, he looked a little too innocent. I can't believe you would do something trashy like that. He knew how much Daejeon was head over heels for him. Oh, seems like Daejeon really cherished Myung Hoon. Tell me about it. Since they first started dating, he's been all she ever talks about. She acted like she met her own Prince Charming. You know, Taehyung's always been passionate. A hopeless romantic, even. Definitely, she would do anything in the name of love. I don't know what Taehyung would do if she found out about this. We're not sure if we should tell her or not, but thank you for letting us know regardless. Of course. Here's to hoping everything wraps up without a hitch. And, you know, that Dejong gets blamed for murder. Box Su, there you are. Dejong firmly grabs your wrist. I've been meaning to talk to you. What a coincidence. Me too. Privately. Sounds like a luxury for all these guests around us. The bedroom should work fine. The bedroom? I wonder what the groom would think of you saying that. You know exactly what I meant. Well, I'm the guest here. Lead the way. This way. You know what I'm curious about? What would have happened if we just let, left the body on the floor for her to find? Cut the ball. Why are you here? I told you. To congratulate my dear friend's wedding. Why else would I come here for? <laughs> you really expect me to believe that? I know you're up to something. And as soon as I figure out what it is, I'll... You're what? What more can you do to me that you haven't already done? You've already done plenty. Do you ever feel guilty about what happened? You said you weren't here for that. I knew you were lying! Well, it is rather easy to hold a grudge when you get framed for murder. You're about to find that out. How many patients have you lost since then? It's always unfortunate. You can't save everyone. How many times have you diagnosed someone wrong? How many times has your hand been too clumsy for your own good? Uh... I've been doing good, I swear! Do you ever wonder? If I'd been the one still practicing, if I'd been in your place, they'd still be alive? Still? Not a single apology? Just leave! Get out of here! I don't want to see you anymore! Since it's supposed to be a good day, I was planning on waiting until the end, but I just can't. I'm going to let Myung Hoon know, and you'll be soon escorted out. Speaking of Myung Hoon, can I at least give you my wedding gift before I leave? It would be a shame if you missed it. I went through so much preparing it, after all. A gift? Now? You said you're going to call Myung Hoon, right? Put your hand in my pocket. What does your pocket have anything to do with Myung Hoon? Oh, damn, was I supposed to clean that off? Th this is... Oh, actually, no, I see what we just did. We just got her fingerprints on it, right, since we're wearing gloves? You... you didn't. I didn't. You did. What? This was your weapon. Is that 
what you're going to tell. You're insane. Why would I? It's our wedding day. Uh, how should I know? I'm simply a witness. Who knows? Maybe you caught him loving someone else more than you. What? Because your fragile heart couldn't take it. You needed to spare yourself a heartbreak. Stop it! Stop talking! Because you would do anything to save yourself. I wouldn't do that! I would never! Never kill someone over something as petty as that! And I would never kill a patient. You... You... Shut up! Shut up! I'll kill you! Oh, damn! Oh! Oh, was I supposed to stop her? I think I was supposed to stop her. Oops. Ah! Uh, uh. Buxu? Buxu? Oh, oops. I got myself stabbed. Okay, avoid it this time. You remove the pearl necklace from the wardrobe. Oh, damn, and now you're covered in blood as well. You are definitely getting famed for this. Is everything all right? I just heard screaming and... Oh, oh god! Myung Toon! Ma'am, Myung Toon is... Watch out, ma'am! You need to leave, she's a psycho! I saw her stab Myung Toon and tried to hide his body! See all that blood? She tried to kill me just now too! You need to get somewhere safe! That's not true, she! Get away from my son! N no! That's not- I didn't! You are definitely going down for this one. Dang Jun fled the scene, wailing. Come on! Please, wake up! Oh god, Myung Hoon! My poor baby! Oh, where's my to-do list? Make her atone. Ah! Is that blood? Oh! Oh my god, that's actually... Cops! Did someone already call the cops? She dropped her weapon. I think she only meant to go for... Jesus Christ. Do you think she found out about the possible affair? I knew she gets passionate, but not obsessed. I was gonna follow the trail of blood then. You know, I would feel bad, but you did frame me for murder as well, so this is kind of comeuppance. I didn't. I didn't do it. It's not... It's not my... It's hers. Dear Dajon. No one's gonna believe you, are they? I mean... Have I got any fingerprints on the weapon? On the body? Do you atone now? Oh, I'm, I am just a psychotic. Well, I don't know if she atones, but she's also gonna go to prison. Does anyone want to see what happens if um, we just leave the body on the floor? I mean, I, I guess it's going to be the go to prison ending again, but I kind of want to see if uh, Dai Zhong has any reaction to walking in on her dead husband. Well, dead fiance. We should go test it. Okay, sadly, it does not allow us to leave the room without cleaning up the body. But what it does allow us to do is to leave without cleaning up ourselves. So as soon as we climb out, a nearby guest walks in on you. Huh? What the hell? Is that blood? And I'd probably get arrested. You were arrested at the scene.
Yeah, it just would not let me go climb through that window without hiding the body and cleaning up the scene, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man. I thought it would have been, um, quite the scene to make her, her walk in on her dead partner just on the floor. Then again, we would have still got arrested, right? Because we would have had the cake knife. Well, if you've enjoyed your time here, I'd really appreciate you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Have a night of a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.